This video is brought to you by Autodesk. Making a 3D animated short film can be really challenging, especially if you are starting from scratch. You will need a bunch of software and a group of artists to bring your idea to life, which can be quite expensive and most certainly time consuming. In this video, we're gonna break down the process of making a 3D animated short film and you will realize at the end that you will be able to make your own, even if you are on a low budget. So let's get right into it. Filmmaking, whether it is short or long, is divided into three stages, which are pre-production, production and post-production. In the pre-production stage, all you need is a pen and paper, because it is all about making the story. So what is your story gonna be like? When it comes to the story or script, you need to take your time in this stage. You want your story to reach your audience, live in it and feel it, create characters and develop a relationship between them in the story. Write down each movement, action, expression and dialogue and think of that visually. When you write down action, imagine how it will appear on the screen and try to narrow it but don't go with unnecessary details. Just highlight the main events while developing your story. You will also introduce your main character and what it looks like. This is usually done by a concept artist with the guidance of a storyteller to identify the physical appearance which will be used later as a reference to help build the environments and the props around. Storyboarding is a vital part in pre-production because you can pre-visualize how your short film will be. This shows you the main camera angles and positions. You will be able to control its length in addition to drawing and gathering all the main events that happen in the script and get rid of the unnecessary parts. After that, you can turn your storyboard into an animatic using an editing program such as After Effects or Blender. This will enable you to see what should be changed in the story before moving forward with production. Now we are ready to make things three-dimensional with the production stage. Autodesk is one of the biggest design software companies in the world. It has been and still is leading the industry in 3D design, engineering and entertainment software. They are also the developers of Maya, which is a professional 3D software for creating realistic characters and stunning animations. It has been used in a ton of video games in the last three decades. Games such as The Last of Us and the Uncharted series. Also movies such as The Guardians of the Galaxy and The Avengers. Maya is the industry standard when it comes to 3D animation, VFX for film, and of course video game development. It allows artists to bring their world and characters to life with easy and engaging modeling and animation tools, and it allows you to easily create realistic effects such as cloth simulations and explosions. That's why it is used by a ton of artists around the world. In addition, Maya has an extensive amount of content online and a thriving community backed by a ton of professional courses and resources, so if you are interested, you will find the necessary links in the description. First, we're gonna start with modeling. This part will be handled by modeling artists. Once they receive to the artwork, they use it as a reference to develop characters, build props and environments. Some of the software that can be used in this stage are ZBrush, Blender, Max, Cinema 4D or Moto. And I would recommend starting with Blender which is free, but if you know Max or Maya, you can use their indie versions which are much cheaper. When it comes to texturing, Try to be as close as possible to the reference given by the concept artist while relying on the story to get more inspiration. It is important to stay on the same visuals though. 3D texturing can easily affect your style, and this stage includes UV unwrapping, texturing, painting, and shading. The best 3D texturing software out there are Mari, Substance Painter, Substance Designer, Quixel Suite, and Photoshop. On the other hand, there are free software that can help you do that such as Blender or GIMP. Now we're gonna jump to rigging. In this stage, rigging artists are responsible for building interconnected joints or bones in the characters and making the skeleton controllable for animators. This is not uniquely related to humans or animal characters, because buildings, props, or any other object can be rigged and animated. This task includes generally building joints for skeletons in addition to skinning and creating a set of controls. The best software for rigging is Maya, which is a paid program and the free alternative is Blender. During the animation process, animators should have models and characters ready and clean for the layout and animation to facilitate the process for them. They work on bringing life to the story in a 3D environment, using techniques like keyframing or motion capture depending on the concept. It is a fun process, but it is most likely difficult, especially if you want to create something realistic and convincing. 
Also, effects artists will collaborate with animators to make visual effects of the scene, such as fire, smoke, explosions, and so on. The best software for animation and effects are Maya in addition to Houdini, but as always, Blender is the free alternative. The last part of the production stage are going to be lighting and rendering. This part can be technical and artistic at the same time. Here you can set your film mood according to the concept and the story. You will have to find the right balance that matches your scenes and fits artistically to the camera angles and movements. And for this job, you will need strong PCs to render thousands of frames or you can do that online using render farms. In the final stage, which is post-production, you will go through video editing and color correction. You will cut the footage you rendered and play around with transitions in a way that feels like that this is the story you wrote in the beginning. And you're gonna use color correction to make your shots look similar or to make them deliver a certain mood or feel. Adobe Premiere Pro can be a good option for this job, but you can also use DaVinci Resolve. The next step is sound design and effects. You will have to record the best vocal performances and add music with sound effects so that it shows emotions and communicate with the audience. Software such as Audition is a good option, and you are gonna need it for sound design, recording, and mixing music. On the other hand, Audacity is a free option. I hope you found this video informative, maybe inspirational. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.